What's up vlog? Happy Tuesday. I'm currently sitting in the car waiting on Robert to get our food. I just dropped off my camera to get cleaned and one of my lenses needed to be calibrated. Uh, just FYI, if you live in Dallas, this is where I take my cameras. I think a lot of camera photographers and stuff go there. They have a lot of stuff. They got camera bags, lights. You can rent cameras from them. This is not sponsored. Just if you're a local, just letting you know. I went and dropped my camera off to get, I mean my lens, my Sigma lens to get calibrated because it's been having like a focusing issue and then I needed to get my sensor clean, cleaned, um, my camera sensor, so yeah. Um, did that and then Robert just washed his car and so now we're about to have a car date. Um, we're trying some new place that he looked up. He's in there, Ray's in the back. We are in Robert's car. I think, I don't know if she's asleep. Let's, let's look. Let's see if she's sick. So yeah, we're trying this for the first time and I'm pretty excited. I think I'm gonna make a TikTok about it. I really want to try to like go hard on TikTok. Um, because I really love being on TikTok. I think it's a pretty cool platform. And I feel like TikTok fits my personality, you know? Here comes my hubs. I ain't see that other thing on the menu. The corn muffin? Yeah. They didn't, did you ask them? No, I will, but you gotta order through a kiosk. You don't order through the right Oh, uh, okay. What was I saying? Oh, I really wanna go hard on TikTok. Um, I'm like, I'm just excited to try out new things this year, be consistent on new platforms. We all know Instagram doing the most. So, but yeah. This week, my goal is to get my website live actually this is what i think i'm gonna do so my old website is still there i just closed it because i was working on stuff and i didn't want people in and out my site or whatever but i think what i'm gonna do is just update the pictures on the old website make it go live and then and then i'll work on the new website behind the scenes and like have it go live later in the year because i feel like if i try to do the new website now is just gonna take too long and the main goal is just to get my books open so this place is like i don't get it it's like a this place is like when i was in chicago i went to the that it was like a buns place mm -hmm. and you had to order through a thing there was nobody and your food just came out mm -hmm. of like crack house huh crack house That's what I feel like this shit is. I just really don't see nobody. I didn't even see them bring out the last dude's food. No, it just come out of a box or something. Is it boxes or lockers or something? Yeah. You're not gonna stay in there? Oh, it tell you? Checks, like, I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even realize it was recording <laughs> too. You looked up there.
Good morning, guys. So, Ray is asleep. I just put her down. I'm going to see how much can I get done while my baby's asleep. So, right now it is 9.08. I am going to start a timer. Timer starting. Let's go. I had to get my headphones. I'm listening to some music, book, something. I don't know. Today was a tough mom day. My daughter has a tooth coming in, so she's very irritable and she only wants me, like I can't cook, I can't do anything cause she wants to just be on me and climb on me. Um, so today was rough, but I finally got her to go to sleep. She's actually sleeping earlier than normal, but that's cool. But now I don't even know what to do. I should clean some more, but I don't feel like doing that. I should probably work, get ready for tomorrow because Kenzie's coming over and I like to have a plan when she comes over, but I don't feel like doing that. And I already took a nap today, so I don't need sleep. I think I'm just gonna read my book and chill. I think today is just bleh. We'll try again tomorrow. <laughs> what's up guys welcome back to the vlog so guess what we are going on our first ever 
road trip as a family. This is the first time Ray has been anywhere. Um, has well, This will be the first time she's ever gone out of the state. Number one, we're going to Tulsa, Oklahoma. First time she stayed in a hotel. And this will just be our first little mini getaway, staycation, whatever, since I had her. So I'm pretty excited. We leave tomorrow. So today we're just gonna like pack our bags, make sure we have everything. Right now I'm just taking a break from just working. I was editing earlier and then I had a photo shoot earlier with my family. Um, and so now I'm just gonna read my book of the month which is the school for good mothers so i only have two chapters left so i'm hoping to wrap this up before we leave because i don't want to carry this book with me on the trip i want to start something new while we're on the trip so i have a whole bunch of books on my physical tbr so i'll probably grab a couple of the, couple of those for the road trip um so i'm about to sit here and read a couple chapters and Ray and Marley are just sitting here playing around so yeah is on so yeah we are here in Tulsa Oklahoma we just wanted to get away and get out of the house um we've already been here we got here yesterday and so today is our first full day here um look at this girl where is she where is she oh there she go she just has to be standing at all times now so yeah, we been we just got here yesterday. We drove on our first road trip and Ray did really good. She slept pretty much almost the whole way there. Um, it was a four hour drive. She slept for three hours. And then we stopped and got something to eat and got her out of her car seat so she could stand up, move around. Yeah, she did pretty good. And one of the tips that one of the moms told me on Instagram was that to get her a new toy that she opens for the first time in the car. And I think that really helped that last hour of the trip because 
once we put her back in the seat, she was kind of like, ugh, I don't want to be in this seat. Why Why did y'all put me back in here? And then as soon as I gave her the toy, um, she calmed down pretty quickly. And she was calm pretty much until we got to the hotel. Um, and then yesterday, we went on... Well, we technically went on one tour. We started a second museum tour, but it was taking longer than we expected. So we left because it was almost raised bedtime and she was starting to get like irritated. And so the first tour we went on, I don't remember the name of the place, but I'll put everything on the screen. Oh my gosh, it was so eye opening. Um, if you are not aware or if you don't know, I didn't learn about the Tulsa massacre in school. I actually learned about it in conversation when I was in college and I was like, wait, I didn't know about that. And like, nobody in my family really talked about it. Like, that wasn't just something anybody taught me. So if you are not aware, in Tulsa, it was like a really big black community, very well wealthy, but very well established black community, a lot of black businesses. And in 1921, there was a huge massacre. Um, basically white Americans came in, burned everything, killed a lot of people. And so we went to a museum that told the stories of those people and of those business owners. And we even saw photos of some of the survivors and how they, like reflect on that time and even with all those businesses lost it was like 20 almost 22 million back in 1921 so that's a lot of money now and they never got any of it none of the claims um were accepted and even the nearby cities wanted to help reestablish the city and the white americans here was like oh don't worry about it we'll take care of it and they never did so yeah we Basically wanted to come here and just go to a bunch of museums. Robert found a black travel, travel blogger. Come on. Robert found a black travel blogger who um, wrote a really good blog about Tulsa. And so we've been going to a lot of the places that she mentioned in her blog. So today we'll be going on a walking tour and then we'll be going to a bookstore that I found. I wanted to be to go to a, a black owned bookstore here. So we'll be going to a bookstore, a walking tour, and then he made us a reservation somewhere for us to eat. Oh, but yesterday we went to this barbecue place. So good. The service was immaculate. They were so nice and so helpful. It felt like I had walked into somebody's home and they just cooked for me and served me at their house. That's how they made us feel. Um, they were really nice, the couple who I assume owned the place because they talked about how they were opening a second location. So if you're ever in Tulsa, you should go to that barbecue place. They were so nice. We absolutely loved it. So Robert is in the shower. I'm about to hop in the shower when he comes out. And then we are going to start our day today. We're going to be headed to the bookstore first and then we'll be going to uh, our one o'clock reservation, which I don't know where we're going. He told me he told me the place once, but I forgot. So we're going somewhere at one o'clock and then we have our walking tour at five. So yeah. Aren't you excited to be on your first vacation? This is your first state. You can check off Oklahoma.
scotch, bonnet, habanero, uh, sauces they got, dipping sauce for the bread. Mm. Don't play with it. Don't let it sit on your tongue too long. Eat yeah. some old bread with some butter. <laughs> booty booty. Welcome back to the vlog. So, it's time to get down to business, okay? So, today I have officially given my Instagram permission to harass me if my website, if my books, if I am not taking new clients by April 4th, I have given instagram stories insta story gang permission to yes daughter yes you too permission to harass me if my books are not open so i am about to write out okay i'm either about to read my book because the book is really good but i feel like my books are distracting me from doing the work that i need to do um so how about i draft out all the things that i need to do in order to get my books open and then i can read my book <sighs> let's see let's see what i get done okay a few moments later because my daughter is chilling and i already edited pictures today so i feel like i just finished working I'm gonna read my book. I'll get back to y'all when I get to the work. <laughs> That's right but today we are demolishing this closet it is a mess i don't wear half of these clothes i can't fit half of these clothes and before you say it no i'm not starting a poshmark or whatever the little websites is that you sell your clothes because the last time i tried to do that i didn't do it so we just gonna accept it then i'm not gonna do it and i'm just gonna bag all these clothes up and, and drop them off somewhere because that's that's just all I got time for. So, today, I'm going to be trying on some stuff, throwing out some stuff, and making room for a new wardrobe. Because my post-mommy body is not the same as my old body. And that's, that's perfectly okay. But I need to put clothes in here that fit me. I need a style that fits me. And all of this stuff in here... No longer speaks to me. It doesn't speak to who I am now. So, Kenzie is here. We are going to go through all my stuff. I'm going to try some stuff on. See if I still like it. Um, and then if I don't, it's got to go. So, yeah. And I hope 
to put a reading nook over here in this corner of my closet because my closet is actually really really big but it's just so much junk in here that i'm never in here and it's always closed all over the floor so yeah i want to put a little reading nook in here for when i want to get away you know and be in my own little bubble um and then i want to put lights on my mirror i have a full body mirror in here that you guys never see because i'm never in here so yeah let's get started okay So first we're going to start in the drawers. We're going to get rid of all the shirts that I don't wear or I don't like or don't fit me right. So that's the first area we are going to go through. And we need to play music. So we're just going to speed up this part and play some music in the background for us and some different music for y'all. what's up guys happy friday let's get to the point so your girl has been down bad okay um so my cycle came and went and now that she's gone i'm feeling great i'm feeling good i feel like i want to accomplish some stuff so i told instagram that they could harass me on monday april 4th if i don't have my books open and I'm nowhere near close to doing that and today is April 1st so let's see if I can get my website done and my books open and all my process is complete in the next 72 hours so I'm about to go to Mallory's house because I can't work in my house I need to get out of my house and so I'm about to pick us up some lunch I'm about to pull up at her house and we're gonna have a work session at Mallory's house today so yeah let's go <music> Thank you. 
today is April 1st. So, I think, because there is like 350 people on my wait list. And of course, you email the wait list first because those are the people who were waiting. And I just feel like when I email them, all the spots are gonna be gone. And what? <laughs> we'll see when I send the email what happens. I'm with the bottle. My eyes are burning. Don't. What's up? Look, look, look. Wait, that's not me. That's not me. Whoa. Whoa. This I hat. I was on the website. What? Oh, they put you on there? Look. Let's go. Uh, I don't even know that. She showed me. Look at you! 